Why do you get dehydrated during or after a long flight? Because you were drunk? Well, not exactly. I'll explain it all, coming up. Hey, 74 crew, welcome back. If you don't know me, my name's Kelsey. I'm a 747 pilot. My channel, 74 Gear, is all about aviation. Today, I'm in Seattle, Washington. I'm at the hotel that's really close to the airport to take the Dreamlifter out, so the view is not so great, and it's rainy and a little bit cold, so that's why I have my sweater on. After a long flight, you could get very dehydrated, be thirsty, have a headache, all symptoms of dehydration. In this video, I'm going to explain why your body dehydrates more during a flight. Let's get into it. I pulled a few numbers off the internet just so you have things to compare with how dry an aircraft is versus normal sea level. I hate math. At sea level, the average humidity in the air is 40 to 50%, where in an aircraft it can be as low as 10%. If your body isn't used to that level of humidity, you can rapidly dehydrate. And a lot of people believe that the reason the humidity is so low is because it's just recycled air, but that's not the case. There is some air that is recycled, but there is new air getting pumped into the aircraft all the time. That's how it's able to be pressurized. I, 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 I bet that really blows your mind. If you watch the video where I explained how a jet engine works on a commercial aircraft, you may remember this picture right here. In this section of the engine here, the air is actually getting compressed before it is combined with fuel and actually used to thrust the aircraft forward. Now a portion of that compressed air before it arrives to the gas section of the engine is used to pressurize your aircraft. That means that compressed air is actually getting pumped inside the aircraft. And that's actually how we stay pressurized in flight for a long time. However, that air that's being sucked in from outside the aircraft at 30 or 35 or 40,000 feet in the air is very, very dry. So that air that we're continually using to pressurize the aircraft with is getting pumped in from 30 to 40,000 feet. That very, very dry air is partially to blame for your dehydration. If you've ever been to Las Vegas on a weekend or you've ever been out somewhere in the desert for a couple days, you'll realize just how fast your body dehydrates compared to when you're in your hometown. And it's not all because of your partying and drinking. You don't know me! But if you've been to Vegas before, and I know I've been there a few times, I actually did part of my flight school there, the average humidity there on average is about 25%. So at sea level, 40 to 50%, Vegas could be 25% on average, and then in a plane, it could be as low as 10%. So if you've been to Vegas before, you know how fast your body can dehydrate, especially during the summertime, and you have to stay hydrated. It's the same thing that happens on an aircraft. Because of my job and doing long flights all the time, my body's acclimated to that type of dry air, I think and I'm often drinking water all throughout the day. If you ever see me walking through your city, a lot of times you'll see me with a bottle of water in my hand because my body is used to having that continual hydration, which makes it so when I'm in flight, I'm not dehydrated. I personally hate having a headache, especially when I'm flying, so it's important that I hydrate all the time, and that's why you'll always see me drinking water. And it's not like you can just get on the plane and just start pounding water because what's gonna happen is you're just gonna be bothering everybody in your aisle and getting up all the time to go to the bathroom. I would recommend starting to drink water a day or two before your flight to actually start hydrating your body and that will help you prevent headaches and feeling tired at the end of the flight. If you're wondering just how often I'm drinking water, once in a Hollywood versus reality video I was doing on flight, I was drinking water in the middle. As soon as Denzel was drinking liquor, for some reason I just started drinking water. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link to it right here. I look forward to hearing from you. Until then, keep the blue side up. <laughs>